everybody, and welcome back. Tonight, we are going to do an after dark cleaning routine. This is one of the ways that I use my planner to keep up on top of everything so that it doesn't become overwhelming. I did um, make a pretty good mess in here this night. So we're going to get it all cleaned up and put back together so that it'll be nice and clean in the morning. Starting with basically all the trash, getting it taken care of and put into the garbage and then we will move on to the dishes. You'll see this a few times throughout the video. I really enjoyed recording this video this night. There's Nobody in the house, it's just me. As you can tell, it's dark out, so everything is calm. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this video in real time so that everybody can watch. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and fast forward anything. So, I'm sorry everybody that likes my flash forward superpower, but not today. In a minute here, I'm going to be showing you my method all-purpose cleaner in the fragrance lime and sea salt. I really, really like this smell. It's a very um, energizing smell to me. I love the combination of this and the eucalyptus. I don't know, there's just something about this fragrance to me that's like on a whole new level. If you watch in this video, you'll notice that I try to make a very attempt to make a very strong effort at facing the camera and making it more visually acceptable for you guys to see is one of the things that I'm trying to keep track of is making sure that you guys can see what it is I'm doing. I also make a really strong effort on this since it's the end of the night to make sure that all the sticky stuff is picked up. So if you watch, I go over everything multiple times. It's because it's just really gross up there today.
you look at the left hand of the screen, you'll see all of the bread in the corner over by my elbow. You would almost swear I was a bread hoarder. <laughs> um, me personally though, I'm not a fan of bread. I don't really enjoy it, but it's a hit around here, so kind of got to stock up on it. But that's an awful lot of bread. So in a second here you're going to see me clean off the washcloth that I've been using to clean off the counter. I'm going to shake it into the sink and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it up and wave to it. I made the decision that the smell of this washcloth was unbearable and unusable after this. And goodbye washcloth. So after picking up all the garbage and cleaning the countertops off, I'm going to go ahead and move to the table. We have a few things on the table that need to be taken care of before I can disinfect it. I'm going to spray it again with my Method All-Purpose Cleaner so that way it's not quite so sticky and mm, didn't feel that going ahead and disinfecting it that day was necessary. <laughs> I'm such a silly girl. I didn't notice that the new washcloth matches the chair that I just slid it past. Such a goofball. So now that we've cleaned over by the sink and got all the trash picked up and the counters cleaned off and the table kind of sort of seems a little bit more sparkly than before, we're going to go ahead and sweep and mop the floor. Um, I did decide that the floor this day needed to be disinfected so we're going to go ahead and disinfect the floor this day. throughout this video, I'm not be bopping around or shaking and stuff. I did try really, really hard to keep this very calm, tranquil, peaceful vibe about it. As far as I know this day, I did not listen to music. I just kind of kept my thoughts to myself and went around and cleaned up everything. I had a lot on my mind this day. But I did really enjoy doing this video with the peacefulness of it and watching everything like go from really messed up to really clean and shiny. My favorite part was turning around and looking back into the kitchen at the hard work that I had done and smelling those amazing smells from those cleaners that I had put down. So in a moment here, I'm going to pick up that method cleaner that I've been using. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of that down onto the floor in specific spots because they were just extra sticky and gross. I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm gonna leave it on for five minutes and then we're going to wet wash that basically means to pull it up with a watered down washcloth. So I have washed the floor with some water to get up that chemical. I do not recommend or advocate in mixing chemicals. I'm using my standard disinfectant. As you can see, I've sprayed it down and we're going to get ready to mop. Do make sure that if you do lay chemicals down before using an another chemical, that you do your best at picking up the chemicals that you would lay down. Heavens only knows what kind of reaction will happen if you mix your chemicals. I had to go back to my old method of filming. If you look close, it's very blurry and fuzzy in this video. I had attempted to record this video once before because of much the same problem except it was a little bit more blurry than it is right now. I'm really kind of disappointed the fact that it still looks the same. Hopefully in the future I can figure out how to make it a little bit more smooth, but it does kind of disappoint me the fact that it looks like a very low quality film. Finishing up the mopping, I really am sorry I didn't include the after shots of this particular video as I kid you not, I put the button to stop and everybody came back home. So with that being said, that concludes this video and I hope everybody has a very lovely and wonderful week ahead.